Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. I got so many requests from you to make a unicorn cake, and not just any unicorn cake, but a very specific cake that you've been sending me pictures on social media. It looks like a unicorn face. I'm so excited because I love unicorns. One, they're my sister's favorite animal. Two, they're magical. Three, they make everything better. A unicorn frappuccino, better. A unicorn cookie, better. A unicorn headband, better. So today we're going to be making a magical unicorn cake. Let's get started. The recipe that we're making today is a funfetti cake from scratch. The things you'll need will be two cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of sugar, one stick of salted butter, you'll want it at room temperature, five large egg whites, three-fourths cup of whole milk, a fourth cup of shortening, quarter teaspoon of almond extract, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two teaspoons of baking powder, eighth a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter cup of rainbow sprinkles. Now let's put it all together. First step is whisking together our dry ingredients in a medium bowl. Add your flour, baking powder, and salty, salty. Then whisk together till well combined and set off to the side. Next, in a large mixing bowl, cream together your butter, shortening, and sugar. Get out there. Okay. Then using an electric hand mixer, mix together until it's light and fluffy. I like to start on a low speed and work my way up to a medium. Now add in your egg whites one at a time. I've combined them all in a bowl, so just eyeball it. Bloop! Then mix it up, add the next egg, mix it up, next egg, mix it up, next egg, mix it up, and last egg, mix it up. And don't forget to scrape down the sides. Now add in your extracts, vanilla and almond. And once again, mix it up. This smells so good. Oh. We have our wet mixture, dry mixture, and milk. Now alternate adding your dry mixture and your milk to the wet. Add a third of the dry, mix it up. Half the milk, mix it up. Second third of the dry, mix it up. Last of the milk, mix it up. Last of the dry, mix it up. Don't forget to scrape down the sides. Our batter is almost ready, but we haven't added the magic yet. We need some rainbow sprinkles to make this a true funfetti cake. We're adding the fun. <laughs> Then fold with a spatula. You don't want to use the electric mixer because it may break apart your sprinkles. They're a little bit delicate. It's a cake party, but we have to be gentle. Look at that cake batter. That is fun. That is some fun funfetti. It smells delicious. Now evenly divide the batter between three cake pans. I'm using six inch round circle cake pans, greased and lined with a piece of parchment paper at the bottom to make it easier to remove the cake. Cakes are ready to bake. Heat your oven to 300. 150 degrees and bake for about 30 to 35 minutes. Just keep your eyes on the cake while they bake. As soon as the top turns a golden brown might be a good idea to poke with a cake tester or if you don't have a cake tester you can use a toothpick. Just place in the toothpick or the cake tester and then when you pull it out and there's no batter sticking to it the cake's ready. Once your cakes have baked give them plenty of time to cool. Over here I have leveled them. You can use a cake leveler like me or a sharp cutting knife. Now it is time Time to assemble our cake. In front of me, I have a little cake plate and a turntable to make frosting a little bit easier. Take the first layer, lace it down. In a piping bag, I scooped in some vanilla buttercream frosting. I like to pipe an outline all the way around, then fill it in. And using an offset spatula, smooth it out. Now add the next layer and cover with frosting, just like we did before. Mm, look at all that fun funfetti cake. Now for our top layer, remember this super cool trick. You're gonna flip your cake upside down so the bottom of the cake is actually on on the top. Frost the entire cake, starting at the top, then working your way around the sides. Once you've piped icing from the bottom to the top of the cake, take your large offset spatula, gently press against the cake as you spin the turntable. To get the icing very smooth, you may have to spin it around a few times. Once you've smoothed the sides, the last thing I like to do is take your spatula and bring in the top. 
work your way all the way around. After icing the cake, I placed it onto a cake stand. If you don't have a cake stand, place your cake on whatever you'd like to serve it on. A serving tray, a cake plate, whatever you have handy. I like this one because it was light blue. And I placed it on top of a turntable again. Next step is adding some decorations with a bunch of different colored buttercream icings that I have over here. We're gonna pipe a bunch of these all over the top and cascading down the side to look like a unicorn's mane. <laughs> I've dyed the icings light purple, pink, darker purple, and blue. Kind of a pastel blend. I just thought these colors would look good together, but you can use any colors you'd like. I'm gonna start by piping rosettes with my light purple and a light pink. Both of these have an open star tip. This is a number 824. A rosette kind of looks like a little rose. You start on the inside and work your way up. I always am scared that frosting's gonna just jump out in my hair. Same thing with the pink around and left. Now I'm using the light pink and a darker pastel purple French tips. These are number 4B. Pipe little dollops in between the rosettes. Last but not least with our dark pastel purple and blue, pipe some kisses. The tips at the end of these are round circles, a number 2A. Squeeze down, apply pressure, and then pull up. So it looks like a little Hershey's kiss. Oop, I don't know why the noise helps but it does, helps me. Got our magical unicorn mane piped on. Now it's time to pipe on the eyes. Over here in a little piping bag, I have some black icing with a number four tip. I'm keeping my eye design very simple by piping two arches with some little lashes, but you can pipe any design you'd like. Our unicorn cake is almost done, but it is no unicorn without a horn. So pop the cake in the fridge while we work on making our final decorations, the unicorn horn and ears. First step is making the ears. In front of me, I taped down a piece of wax paper so the fondant won't stick to the surface, and I've got a little bit of powdered sugar. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit down on top of the wax paper, spread it around, break off a little bit of white marshmallow fondant, and roll it flat. I have a teardrop and a smaller teardrop cookie cutter. Cut out two of each. I'm also taking a little dab of water. The water helps the fondant stick together. It acts as as an adhesive. Then to shape the ears, allow them to dry on top of something rounded. I'm just gonna use my fondant rolling pin, but you could also use a whisk or another rolling pin. To make our unicorn horn, I have rolled out a tapered rope of fondant. It's thinner at one end, thicker at the other. I like to use a long lollipop stick, but if you don't have one of these at home, you can also use a wooden skewer. Take a little paintbrush, get some water on the end, and paint your lollipop stick. This will help the fondant attach. Now, twirl the fondant around the lollipop stick to create a little unicorn horn. It kind of looks like those unicorn lollipops that you see at Disneyland, and they're all rainbowed and delicious. This is what the horn looks like. I've left some space of the lollipop stick at the bottom so you can stick it into the cake. Now just let it sit out for 10 to 30 minutes to harden. Final step to making our fondant decorations, we're gonna paint them gold. Over here I have some gold edible highlighter dust. A little bit goes a long way. You don't need to use a lot. Pour a little bit into a small bowl. Then I'm adding some almond extract so that when we're painting, it won't be streaky. You can actually use any clear alcohol. Look how pretty that is. Move the gold around. I want to paint a liner on with this. This is so pretty. Now paint the inner ear and the whole horn gold. Just took the cake out of the fridge. It's chilled. Now final decoration step. Add our horn and ears. Oh my gosh. Lickety. Ta-da. Here is the unicorn cake that we made today with a homemade funfetti cake recipe. I've been seeing so many pictures of these kind of cakes all over social media and I absolutely loved making this one. I'll be posting lots of pictures and the recipe on rosannapancino.com, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can check it out there, and if you guys make this cake, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes me happy. It makes my day, especially when it's unicorn. It's my sister's favorite animal. Well, it's a toss-up between unicorns and then narwhals, which are unicorns of the sea. Fitty fitty. If you have any other ideas for any other nerdy dummies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. Thanks again, you guys. Bye bye.